envied and reviled. It is the cross we were born to bear. You are so full of shit. Captain, what? I saw something move ahead of us. Oh, God, oh, no. Is it these walls? Is it these walls around us? Okay, I'll go ahead. Why don't you come with me? You civvies wait here. You hit trouble and you run. Cry out ever will cover you. Good luck. Move out. Oh, God, sign up and see the universe. Oh, my ass. Sins indeed. We're all going to die. Yes, well, perhaps. Never mind, old chap. I need to speak to Karnak. Establishing link. Established. Karnak, are you there? I'm here, Doctor. Things aren't going so well for us down here, I'm afraid. In the unlikely event that something untoward doth befall us, it's all down to you, Karnak. Blow the station up if you have to, if you can. I'll do my best. Never say die, though, Doctor. <laughs>
Hello, Karnak. <laughs> if you're reading this, it means that your curiosity has got the better of you. And you've decided to peek ahead and see how it all works out for you. Sorry, dear chap, but I can't allow that. Rules after all are rules. I've clipped the pages pertaining to your history and placed them somewhere safe. I do hope you appreciate that this is for your own good. Your friend, D.W. I don't believe that. That is so typical of him. <laughs> what? Oh. Are you all right, Doctor? Well, things have been better. Two of our charming soldier friends have to employ Captain Turbo's choice idiot, bought the farm. They died fighting like warriors, though, she says. So, apparently, once again, that's not so very dreadful after all. Had you come up with any sort of a plan? Well, not exactly a plan, no. I was just doing some research, and I had up the... And hey. while you were at it, you were sneaking a peek at your own fate? Hmm? You think you're so clever. That may well be true, but cleverness is not always enough, Karak. Sometimes a keen intelligence and an admittedly pithy, slicing wit are not always enough. Sometimes it's only a single act of noble, selfless heroism. Or, to put it another way, a gullible idiot like me. Oh, life isn't a game of chess, you know, Doctor. I'm not a pawn you've just sacrificed when and how you like. Yes, dear chap, as much as I really would like to talk all that through with you, I'm afraid we are rather up against the clock. Hmm? We have to quote the captain once again, something of a situation. Even without the Kalashar, Dr. Medzaborian clearly has no intention of shutting down the particle accelerator from your end. That's if she survived the Kalashar, then I doubt she'll be doing her damnness to try and set it off before we even have a chance to stop it. Right, right. So you see, I need you to do a little job for me. Scott Splitter and Godbringer. 
and thought, hey, if I'm not going to be any good with the ladies, I might as well have myself a stupid fat joke name. <laughs> <laughs> you miserable scum spawn wow! Great! I invoke Cun Durakar. You invoke Bob? You make dangerous jokes. No joke. You're a war chief. That means you're of a noble house. <laughs> I'm a prince. That means I am of a noble house. And if I'm insulted, then Scum Spawn's world is pretty much an insult in anybody's book. I can issue a challenge when, where, and how I like. You are no prince. Royal seal of the House of Ranan. That was lost centuries ago. Nope, it's right here. That was lost centuries ago when Cunning the first died. Look, you don't have to rub it in. I have enough proof to issue a challenge, and so I'm doing it. So tell me, are you really going to break one of the most sacred laws in front of your own men? Very well. However, computer... Waiting to pop up. It works. Show me the confrontation ship docked on the lower rings. Good. Release the docking clamps. Warning, Animus Delta Base is situated in a gravitational safe point between the black hole and its orbiting brown dwarf star. Without docking clamps, the centrifugal force generated by this station will hurl the ship out of the safe zone and into the gravitational riptide. Warning. I didn't ask for electron physics. Release the clamps. Clamps. Authorization required to override safety protocols. Authorization made to coordinate R299. Thank you. Clamps released. So you see, Prince, you may win, or I may, but whatever happens, you will never leave. Now name the time. As soon as possible. Name the weapons. Stars. But I suppose if you haven't got any, we can find some metal piping lying around. Although it wouldn't surprise me if you do, the amount of races running around with a ray gun on one hip and a great big bloody sword on the other never ceases to amaze me. What is the point of that? We have stars. Now name the price. Now we're getting there. Deck 34, underneath the main ventilation shaft. And bring your soldiers. You're going to need them. So, this station was not originally constructed here in orbit? Around a black hole? No, we're not so far from the event horizon that anyone would be stupid enough to try that. A, a new Miss Delta base was originally built to fly on its own power. Are the engines still operational? Taken offline and salvaged for parts years ago. Uh, ZPE generator came from the engine core actually, and the ship's navigational systems were turned over to stellar cartography and deep space scanning and so on. And all that remains are the gyro controls. I'm worried, Doctor. Mm, yes, yes, I'm sure. No, I mean, this place was built to last, and we've got, what, just over five hours now? Well, Dr. Medzavori would be a very clever and capable woman. If she's alive by now, then I'm sure there's a good chance she's managed to circumvent at least some part of your algorithm. I know I would have. Ah, oh, I see the server is operational. So I expect we have rather less time than that after all. Pass me the optical processor. Thank so you. even if we can get past the monster of the doctors, the other doctors, then it's not just a question of hitting a big switch with off printed on it. Everything, every system is tripled up for safety. Even the two of us working together, we won't be able to shut it all down in time. I realise this, dear boy. That's why we're using Plan B. Plan B. <clears throat> we have a Plan B. What's this about Plan B? Oh, marvellous. You're awake, Captain. Yeah, I am. And what's this about Plan B? I'll let you know once I finish this. Got it. I've constructed a short-range EMP grenade. Good for one use only. When it's set off, it will generate an electromagnetic pulse in the 15 to 25 terracycle range, which should wipe the smile off that creature's face. 
if it had a smile, of course, or a face for that matter. Great! We can fry that thing's hard drive! Yes, however, everything is not perfectly well in the garden. The blast radius is a less than impressive four bit. And while the four of us will be fine, Penny, of course, will be vulnerable. Anybody that gets that close to that thing is going to get themselves killed! They might not even get a chance to say it up! Oh! That's why, dear lady, I have taken the precaution of setting up a little diversion. They should be here any moment now. Help! No, no, not precisely help, no. Ah! Ah, look out the turns. Another two decks, Doctor. They're coming. They? Who are they? Why, the Kalashar, of course. You brought the Kalashar here? Credit where credit's due. Can't act in, actually. He can be a very brave and resourceful young man when he puts his mind to it. Although he will insist on hiding his light under a bushel. And a particularly large and oafish bushel of that. Not that it's in my nature to pass judgment, of course. You brought the Kalashar? Here? Do try to keep up, Captain. Mm -hmm. Look after this with your plan. <laughs> and tell Karnak to keep the Kalashar waiting here as long as he can. I shall be back soon. Where are you going? Oh, dear, tis a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done before. Actually, that's not in the slightest bit true. Oh well, goodbye. He's going to get us all killed. Don't worry, everything's going to be just fine. Do you have ammunition left? I used it all. We are so going to die. <laughs>
Right, right. So we fight to the death, and the better man wins. And then I go home. Oh, he's confident. <laughs> Isn't there some, something lengthy involving tea, perhaps? No. How about famous last words? That sort of thing. Do you concede the victory, then? That's the point. What happens then? I shoot you. Perhaps not. Are you prepared? Well, I guess so. Dream well, Penny. Can't you fix her? There's nothing to fix, Carnac, dear boy. She died as well as any who have ever lived. And happily. One day you may do the same. So I keep hearing. This isn't about you, Carnac. Yeah, you guys! We don't have time for you to stand here. We never do! 
We should get to my ship. I may not be the greatest pilot in the SSI, but I can get us away from here, take the place out with a few missiles, no more end of the universe. No, you can't. We can't? Why not? Yeah, why not? That thing's dead, right? What's stopping us? Deathbane, the one I was fighting, he blew the dolphin clamps. Your shit's probably squeezed tighter than an atom bomb. What? Quite. Right. Can't act. That shows a frankly shocking misunderstanding of the properties of space time under a heavy gravitational distortion. No! That's not the problem. How did you undo the docking clamps? That was meant to avoid it. Shell up for voice recognition. The gyro thing. We ourselves saw the servo lift go on earlier. That's an ancillary system. Docking clamps part of the core systems. She could hack her way through to the particle accelerator at any time. Oh, well, no less for the wicked. <laughs> Servo lift open. It means we don't have to walk up 38 flights of stairs again. Goodbye, Penny. Goodbye. Oh, control level 32, please. Most kind. Emulation subroutine, the Metaphorium, Gamma 284. <coughs> Estimated runtime is six minutes. Yes! I did it! My dear lady, good evening. Then I shall live forever! I have to ask, 
Just how is it you expect to do that? Sorry. No, really, I am. Thanks. That's very 